everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming, finally filming, the new Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. So I'm going to film a lip swatch video, swatching the whole range of all of the shades. Now, quick little disclaimer, um, these were sent to me through PR, but you guys know that I've already filmed a couple of Wet n Wild videos, like proving the foundation, another lip swatch video, a whole bunch that I have purchased through my own money. So I'm so grateful to be able to swatch the whole line of lipsticks for you guys, because it's something that I would have purchased anyway. And to be able to have the whole range is just amazing because I know you guys love watching these videos so if you guys want to come along with me and watch me swatch all 13 shades then keep watching. The lipstick that I'm wearing is I've got MAC Saw Lip Liner as well as the Cloud Pout in... There's no names on these and I think it's because they might have been on the packaging that I took off when I was trying to open like get into it. So I've just gone through and looked at the Wet n Wild website and matched up the SKU code to the names. I don't know if you can see that but... Each lipstick has a little skew code, skew code, product code. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is that this, what I'm currently wearing and in the intro is the shade Fluffernutter, <laughs> which is quite cute. So what I'm going to do is I'll take it off. I'm also wearing um, Max or Lip Liner with it, so I'll take it off and then I'll show you guys what it looks like by itself. First up, we have the shade Fluffernutter. How cute are these names? Like, okay, so they have a nice um, applicator too. It's a bit curved, so it's easy to. Mmm, smells really sweet, but it's easy to like put on your lips. This is a really nice nude. Also, these are mousses, like they're described as marshmallow lip mousse. So they're not gonna dry or set, they're just gonna stay like this, which makes it quite easy to reapply to. So it says light as a cloud, soft matte, buildable and blendable. It has argan oil, avocado oil and vitamin E to help moisturize lips. Bouncy marshmallow powder and sweet marshmallow scent. With that being said, be worried about the halal situation of marshmallows, they're vegan. So yeah, I do really like this shade. It's one of the shades that I love, it's probably my favorite shade because it's a nude. What I do wish is that there were more nudes in the range because this is like the only one. I really like this shade. So once again, this is the shade Fluffernutter. The, I'm gonna like giggle when I say these names. Next up is, so this is the shade Girl You're Whipped. So that's this one. Oh, it's a pretty shade. Formulated with sodium hyaluronate to help hydrate and smooth the appearance of fine lines for blurred and soft focus finish. It's nice, not what I would think I would love, but super pretty. So once again, this is the shade Girl You're Whipped. Next up, we have the shade Pour Some Sugar On Me. Oof, she's looking really pretty. Wow, that's vibrant. These are really comfortable on the lips. Very pretty in pink. It does what it says it does, you know? Like it's very moussey, soft, easy to apply. I really like the applicator. Kind of giving me like the Colourpop Luxe Velvet lips. Because those are quite, there's a moussey too. These ones, the Luxe Velvets. I love the formula. However, I like the applicator on these ones just a little bit more because they've got that tapered curve to them and it kind of hugs your lips. But yeah, I do really like this shade. It's very pretty. So once again, this is Pour Some Sugar On Me. <laughs> So once again, this is shade Pour Some Sugar On Me. It's hard to say the names with a straight face. Next up is the shade Cloud Chaser. There's quite, quite a few pinks in this line. So if you love pinks, there's a lot to choose from. Making me want to eat it. 
Also, if you're wondering why I'm looking down, I have a mirror here. It's not my favorite shade, but it is still quite pretty. So once again, this is Cloud Chaser. Next shade is Cotton Candy Skies. Oof, I think I want to really like this one. Wow. So easy to apply. I don't usually love mid-turn pinks, however this one's really nice. Might be like a good one to blend in with another colour to create more of a two-dimensional look. Once again, this is Cotton Candy Skies. Next up is Candy Wasted. This is such a vibrant, it's giving me fuchsia vibes. Wow, it's really pretty. Ooh, okay, so between this one and the last one, I think maybe this one's my favorite because it's just more bright, vibrant, in your face, fuchsia with a bit of, I guess, purple in it. Stunning shade, very vibrant, comfortable to wear, does, is definitely not matte. This is just a really nice formula. So once again, this is Candy Wasted. Next up is the shade Fluff You. <laughs> That one. We're going to the reds. Wow, that's so beautiful. I really like the shade. So this is the shade Fluff You. It's a beautiful red. Kind of goes with my makeup, sort of. <laughs> I kept it neutral so hopefully they all sort of go. Once again this is the shade Fluff You. I feel like they would have had such a fun time naming these. Okay next up we have the shade Marshmallow Madness. Let's see. This is a really like soft brick red kind of, but a little bit like not as intense. How do you describe the shade? I have no idea. This is why I look for like the brands to help describe it, but really pretty. I much prefer like the more red, super red versions, but this is a really nice color too. So yeah, once again, this is Marshmallow Madness. Here we've got five more to go, so we're almost fin. Okay, next is the shade just Marsh to my mellow. That one looks like. Oh, so looking kind of like berry. Oh, this is nice. It's a beautiful shade. Oh, it's like a soft berry red. Super pretty, it looks very diffused, but I really like the color. So yeah, once again, this is Marsh to my Mellow. We have four more to go. The next color is, a red, is an orange. So this is Sugarholic, which look at this vibrant orange. I'm so excited to try this one. Oof, she looks stunning. Look, wow. This is beautiful. I need more. I need it super vibrant. Oh, 
This is stunning. Once again, this is the shade Sugarholic. Three more to go. My lips still feel quite moisturized. Like they're okay. Okay, next up we have the shade Don't Sugarcoat It. This one might be my favorite red. Look at that. Oh no, I think I accidentally overlined my top lip. But how beautiful is this red? It's Oh, love it. Super pretty. See, I love this shade. It's a really stunning red. Mind my overlined top lip. Whoops. Once again, this is Don't Sugarcoat It. Ooh, we've got like two dark brown type shades. Which I also love browns. Last two. So these are the two remaining shades. Next is 923, which is I'm on Cloud Wine. So that's what this one looks like. Oof. That's really pretty. So if I do like a really light coat, it can kind of pass as like a stain and you just blot it away. It's really nice. Unexpected shade. Like I don't it looks like this in the tube, but when I put it on it's kind of like more of a berry. But yeah, I did a really light application. I can add a bit more if you guys want, but super pretty. Yeah, I do really like this shade. Once again, this is I'm on Cloud Wine. <laughs> The last shade is Love You Small, which is also super cute. It's a lovely chocolatey brown. The rich chocolatey. It just stopped recording. Thankfully, I got it. But yeah, I was saying that this is a really pretty shade too. It really, it goes well with my makeup. Chocolatey brown. The only thing with lips that don't dry down is I feel like for me, I would just be really conscious of when I'm out and eating and drinking from cups and stuff. But they do make application, reapplication really easy. Stunning brown. Once again, this is Love You Small. And that's it. Let me just blot this away to see what it looks like. Wow. Oh. Hey, that's handy. It blots away like really subtly. Like I've kind of wiped it away. Maybe that's how I'm supposed to take it off instead of rubbing. Should I do my standout shades? Obviously, it has to be the nude. Fluff Renata. Still recording? Yeah. I loved Fluff Renata. I think I really liked I'm on Cloud Wine. And ooh, this is a tough one. The orange was really pretty too. It was very surprising. No, Sugarholic, these shades. Stunning. There's so many good shades. But yeah, those are the ones that stood out to me the most. Anyways, I'm gonna go. It's in time. It's like five to seven. And yeah, I've got one more video to film after this. All right, so that's the end of the video. Let me know what your favorite shade was down in the comments. There's so many beautiful shades to choose from and they're very affordable, which I love. If you guys have any requests, then leave them down below as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I upload videos every Friday and Sunday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Do I not look like I'm here to present the news or something like laser, microphone? Oh no, no way, were the shades actually on
the pieces of thing, then I've thrown it all away. Fudge. Let's see if I can find the names on the website. My pink 917 cotton candy skies. Let me just bring it back. Okay, so. Mm -hmm.